Good afternoon. Welcome to the Way Station. I'm Trisha Foley, the Registered Dietitian. Today we're going to be making broccoli spinach soup. So what you'll need is just some chicken stock, Parmesan cheese. You can also use 2% cheddar if you like that better. Um, salt and pepper, spinach leaves, a little bit of olive oil. You'll also need, of course, broccoli and then a yellow onion. So to get started, you just need to get some water boiling for your broccoli. And then we're going to cut up the broccoli, and you want to use the stem as well. That's still a good part, so we're going to go ahead and boil all of that and get it steamed. So I'm going to chop it up. And you need about two cups worth of broccoli. I'm just going to make a small batch for now, though. So we're going to put that in to the boiling water and let it steam till it's just bright green. You don't want to steam it too long. And then what you want to do is put a little bit of olive oil in your pan. I already have that done. Make sure the pan is already a little bit hot. And then you're going to go ahead and chop your onion up. And you want to get this so it's translucent in the pan. And again, I'm just going to do a little bit for now. But typically, for a big batch, um, two cups of broccoli and then a whole onion, if you like onion. You can always use a little bit less. So we're going to let that start cooking in the olive oil, get it translucent, and then we'll go ahead and add our baby spinach. So I'm going to let that stir for just a minute. You'll also want to make sure that you have a um, food processor or a blender. Either way, it's fine. Um, and make sure you do a big... Um, big batch in batches. So you don't want to add all your ingredients in one fell swoop. You want to make sure that you do small batches so that the blender can blend it up really good. Um, so right now we're going to go ahead and add our baby spinach. And you want to let that wilt. So we're going to let that wilt in the pan. And once it's wilted, we're going to add this to our broccoli and then we're going to puree it. So I'm going to go ahead and get a bowl. I think our broccoli is about done, so I'm going to go ahead and separate the water out from the broccoli. If you have a strainer, that would work great. I just don't have one. So now we have our nice, fresh, steamed broccoli. It's nice and bright green. You don't want it dark green at all. And I'm going to add this to my food processor. Okay. And then I'm going to check on my vegetables. Ideally, you would want the spinach a little bit more wilted, but we're just going to go ahead and go with it for now. Put it in there, and then we're going to add the stock. So, I usually start with less than you think you'll need, just to make sure. You can always add as you go. And then what I'm going to do is add a little bit of pepper and a little bit of Parmesan. And again, it's not a perfect science, but you can kind of eyeball what you need. And then I'm going to go ahead and puree this. So um, I'm going to get over to my food processor up here. And it's going to be loud for just a second. So what you would do is just go ahead and puree that. It's not cooperating, so I'm going to leave it right there. But you puree it down, and I can show you the finished product. It looks just like this. Again, you can add more Parmesan if you need to, a little bit more chicken stock. But to get the full recipe, you can go to our website, www.waystation.net. Have a great day.